whole summer been that way, man. Brutal. Brutal ass funny shit. What do you think about the rain? Talking about how funny the sky looks this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Getting our sale man. Hey, hey Group 66 Rally Sale Man, always. If you piss him off, he'll do you wrong. <laughs> So, the word of the day. What's the word? Word of the day? Word of the day. Rock and roll! That's three words. Oh, that is with, a, with an N in there. Just one word. Something wise. Party. Party. Your word of the day. Patience. Patience. Word of the day. Word of the day? Yeah. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> He's not right. Rock and fucking roll. Four words of the day. No, he already said that. Can't do it. Okay. How about? Why? Something wise. Wisdom. Party. Patience. Wisdom. Wisdom. Mine is knowledge to the
matches, I can't go. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, did that mean mentally or physically? Because I, I think you're physically, like, by law old enough? Yeah, yeah but I don't, I don't know. And mentally, I probably just, I won't make it. Shit. We'll be all right, though. Should we tell Chuck? Yeah! Tell no, him. let's not. Look, I can't go, I can't go past this. Hey, I don't, hey, Chris, Chris, he's not, he can't go past. Look, the sign says, no drinks or beer beyond this railing. They're condemning me. Yeah, so I guess that means you gotta chug it. it. They That's do what the fuck that means. It for the high ground with my beer in hand.
Today, uh, that's a good day. The band just played at the 66 Fall Rally, Micro Rally, and um, it's been 10 long years since I've made a big check. You know, I used to make about $1,000 per show. And uh, when I uh, told the truth about, you know, fuck, you know, going back to doing drugs, man, I mean, my checks went from $1,000 to 50 bucks. Sometimes for playing free. Today we made our work for kids then. The rally we made four hundred dollars. That was our pay. And that's a good day. Uh, for an original band in Oklahoma. Most original bands got barely make a hundred bucks a show. When the cover bands make a thousand dollars. So we're headed to the bank right now to cash that check. Then we're gonna go get merch. First merch we've had in a while too. So good shirts and all the good shit. So good time to leave us. That would suck. Yeah. I, I bet his, his, uh, he works right up here, so. <laughs> so, do you have an account with us? No, I don't. Um, I need you to back up and come into this, uh, the merch here, because I need your right to talk to me. Okay, cool. You gotta go into the other lane. Huh? You gotta go into that lane. Or go inside. Maybe I gotta go inside. Oh, okay. Should I follow you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Get it. Customer parking right here in the front. Huh? You can park right here in the front. Right here? Yeah. Customer parking. Yeah, where, where, where are you going? What? Yeah. <laughs> hey. There we go. Now we go to the merchandise. What? Yeah. Okay. So we just ordered our first Good Time Believer shirts. Fifty of them. Yes. Yeah. And yes, we got 50 fucking new shirts coming here in about two, two within 10 days. Chuck Hooley's Good Time Believer shirt. Hell yeah. seems that no matter what we do, it's like uh, uh, the demons, the devils, whatever's out there is trying to uh, uh, sidetrack us and keep us from growing and, and getting better, but they, it's not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen. So the other night, we're going to take a break, and uh, we set the guitar down and, and it stand. Well, Stan wasn't quite right, I guess. 
and uh, it was lined up, uh, the, the bottom half of the stand was lined up with a cord, and as uh, we were all moving around, well, the, the cord grabs the stand and, and it falls over just like that, and it breaks uh, my $500 gift from Tess, which a bunch of you out there had the, the choice, they y'all helped us pick this guitar, and being that I'm from Texas, though I love Tulsa, and I've lived here longer, uh, yeah, took my uh, Texas Orange Fender and well, it, it broke the headstock. And now, almost 20 years ago, uh, I had a girlfriend uh, didn't like the fact that I was uh, leaving and we were over. And so I grabbed my uh, soft case, strapped it over my shoulder, and as I'm heading out the door, she pushes me and it broke the headstock just like this. Now, the the wood's real thin there, and, I, and I'm, I'm worried, you know, whether this is going to, you know, this is going to really hold it, especially with the strings come across it, but we're going to try and make this happen, so here we go. Uh, we got C-clamps, or, you know, kind of clamps, uh, kind of close here. Uh, these are uh, real clamps, but they're real, real industrial. We got super simple wood glue. And then uh, these uh, zip ties will go a little bit later. So here we go, man. for three days and now I uh, I'm about to take these off I, I added I waited and, and I've added these, these zip ties right here and then uh so I've added two of them already I'm gonna add some more but I'm gonna take these off right here and see we won't know completely until the, the next round when I go and um, add the strings and see if it pops if, there, if it, there's pressure I'm hoping that it's not too far back like that it looks kind of like, like it maybe is, but I don't know. It looks pretty on right here. It feels flush on where, you know, the cracks are, where it's cracked at, so, I mean. Looks good from there. We're going to find out, man, so I'm going to keep putting these all the way up. <laughs> and then, uh, so hopefully they don't rub on strings at all, but, um, We'll see what happens, man, and uh, I will get back to you here in the next segment of Third Party. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, the headstock fell off at a show. It broke. Got knocked off the stand. It fell forward like that. It's amazing how it happened. Uh, from my heart. Tess got me this guitar. Uh, so I, I wood glued it. I clamped it. Let it sit for uh, almost three days. It takes 24 hours for the glue to sit in. And then a little bit extra for, uh, you know, the, the mold to it and all that stuff. And I put, uh, what are these called, Tess? Zip ties. <laughs> Zip ties. I'm a little stoned right now, so hey. Uh, anyways, uh, so zip ties on there. There's, I think there's seven of them. It's holding. I got the strings on. Uh, I've been playing it pretty much uh, on and off all day long. It's holding tune really well.
Cheers. So there's this time, I remember uh, when I first started writing songs uh, in prison. Uh, one of the first songs I ever wrote was uh, a song called Chuck, you need to get high. I do? Yes, you do. There he goes saying, never gonna do it again this time But like before this time it sure lived Cause his demons seem to have way more to give And he keeps on ignoring Yeah, he keeps on ignoring, yeah Yeah, he keeps on ignoring, yeah Those warning signs She's the one that loads the bowl. Right. Yeah, she loads the bowl. Get the bowl over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, looky there. Oh, there you go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You want to do a, what do they call that? You want to do a shotgun? You want to do a shotgun, dude? Oh, hell yeah. That's good to get your pie fast. <laughs> Oh, ain't shaking on that one, huh? Yeah, I got much more. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Boy, you cough a lot. <laughs> Not as much as kid does. Kids really? Kids. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw that video. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. He was there. He's like, ha, ha. and then like, I looked over at him, like, ah, right in my face. <laughs> Good time believer smoke session right here, man. Hell yeah, a lot of fun. What you got going on here, man? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. I forgot I I gave you. Tell me okay. Are you what? You already got his, your fist up his ass. Yeah, I know. He depends on me for a lot. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Kind of needy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Just a little. You know how kids are. <laughs> <laughs> is that all there is? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Who's 
that bowl. That was that, that, out of that thing you found? That's what was left, yeah. And then you had the other bowl old girl gave you. Did you smoke it, Dad? Uh, no. It's it's sitting up there. Hold on. Alright, cool. I gotta go. Hey! Uh, Y'all out there? Once again, I think there's one person following us. <laughs> hey, but we're there for you. Hey, no one's told you today? What? We love you. Uh, they, they love you? Well, we love you. We love you. Love you. And don't ask why, because you know what we're going to say? Because we Because we can. Because we can, man. Because we can. Yeah, Chris. Chris huh? Townsend. Okay, so caveman, Captain Caveman. That's right. Uh, has been doing, has, has took all our work and, and doing our shirts now for us. And uh, uh, we appreciate it very much. But how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this actually for 50 years. I started when I was in grade school. <laughs> Over 50 years. Wow. wow. Uh, and, uh, what made you get into it? My dad did do this. I worked with my dad when I was a kid, but starting in the second grade. Yeah. Wow. Hey, 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 real quick, I'll change the subject a little bit. We've huh? talked about you smiling all the time. Oh. And, and, and what is it you said the other day? Oh, I said I never met a stranger. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I, for some weird reason, when I meet people, I have this strange feeling that I already have met them before. So oh, it, oh. it's kind of like there's no real barrier. You just talk to them like you would anybody else. That's kind of how I am. I already knew. I, I talk to everybody, even the crazy people. You know, talk. <laughs> there you go. I'm not, I just... Yeah, I like people, and uh, like, I do too. I'm an easy people. I meet new people all the time, working in state games. See people from all over the world. Can we show them what you're doing there? Yeah. Ah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, I think that's now. We're going to do this one last because the seams, it'll print over the seams pretty good. Okay, cool. But, you're close up, baby. But what, the seams might cause the paint to... Come out in places off before you did another one. Let's, let's think about what we want to do. Let's see, we've got that. We want to keep that out of the picture. That's, that's about right, right there. We're going to try to miss that. Right. Okay. There we go. We kind of print extra hard. So, Maggie, how many shirts do you think you've done today? Oh, we probably printed just a couple hundred today. Some days are bigger, some days are... If we get on, if we have to get on the automatic, we could print a thousand shirts in a day over there. Wow. Wow. But this is a bunch of small orders. Here's a shirt that I... Uh, my wife just went out to try to get. This is for a, a group in Moldovia. Wow. Oh. Uh, Unity and what? Service yeah. Service and recovery. Yeah, it's... Um, Oh, we have a really recovery cool. group, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they added on a sweatshirt, and my wife, I, at the last minute, she gone out to try to find them to the order since I'd have to order it from out of Dallas. So she's out looking for me, sir. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, what if we, we print it on this one and you didn't throw, throw it through there, just let it dry? It would never dry. It would just it oh, would never So it has dry. to go through there. I, I, don't, I think it's going to mess it up. I'm going to show you, yeah. I'm going to show you. I've got my friend to do a. Sample too, dude. Cool. I had to print a bunch of shirts. For, um, I sent out an order for crap today out to California. Rush some out there. They're like in four cities cool. in California over the next week. And this is their number one selling shirt right now. Oh yeah. This this style right here. They print the. Oh, that, that nice. Oh, I like that. Print, well, I just, uh, it's, it's, it's all there. Yeah. They print a, this has got this, their tour schedule on the back of it. Trapped? And, yeah. And a, and a mm -hmm. little left front. It trapped by us. Well, I've, and, but but I made you one. I have an extra one, so I made you a sample of that shirt. So you'll have a sample oh. of this acid wash shirt. Yeah. That's their, like they that. have eight different shirts, and that's their number one selling shirt. That's why I had to ship more out to you today. Acid washed. Acid washed. <laughs> nice looking.
The heroin. Hell yeah. The heroin are awesome, aren't they? Yeah, they were. They're Great good. guys, man. Uh, you saw them in uh, episode 11, or, you know, in between uh, seasons, uh, special episode. Let me uh, hang out with them, guys. Uh, I've known them for a while. Good friends of mine, man. They let me use the music for the show. Thank you guys very, very much, man, for, uh, for you know, let us use your music. The music is awesome. Those guys are on tour, U.S. tour right now, man, doing their own thing. Open up with Volby, playing Sturgis, man. I mean, they're doing, they're hitting it. And uh, if you've not ever got to see the heroin or don't know who they are, they are the kings of San Antonio, man. They are the baddest rock and roll band on the planet today. They are the gospel of rock and roll. That's the heroin, man. So go check them out, man. Find them on Facebook or YouTube, man. You can, you know, uh, you can hit them up there. Uh, that's the heroin. And we, we heard their songs, you know, Still Running, the first one, man. I love that song. And, and, and The Drifter, which I absolutely love that song. That's, that song is about me. <laughs> yeah. And then their version of Tush from ZZ Top, which was awesome, man. So uh, uh, that's the heroin, man. Check them out, man. Anyways, we appreciate you if you're watching the show, man. Uh, uh, yeah. You've seen us go, 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 come a long ways in eight months that we've been here. Uh, uh, the show started when we were homeless, and uh, you kind of followed us with our truck broke down, and, and we got stuck at this hotel, and, 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 and we ended up uh, getting jobs at the hotel. I, I also found another job, which uh, uh, working for a uh, you know, shade tree property maintenance. And then, uh, you know, uh, we, we watched this with our band. You know, uh, fell apart, or yeah, we didn't fall apart, but we. We all lost our place to live and, and, and our place to jam, and so we found a new place, we found a new bass player. I taught the bass player, Stouffer, how to play, and uh, here we are eight months later, and uh, he's, he's already doing shows with us, five shows in. So uh, that's an awesome thing, man. Um, life is going good. Uh, it's not how long you got to live, it's what you do while you're alive. And it's what you leave behind for others to remember you by. So if you want to be remembered as a lying, cheating, thieving, uh, shady piece of shit, and go right ahead. It's up to you. Uh, or you could be someone that overcame that or battled through that and became someone that inspires the uninspired. Which is a, is a better way to live, man. If you don't believe in God, you got to believe in something, man. And if it's, if it's not, you know, some other outer, outer being, then it's yourself. You know, uh, find something to believe in, but, you know, live, fight the good fight no matter what, man. And do what's right and not what's wrong. Rational thinking, right? Yeah. Um, you saw the rally. Uh, we, we played a Route 66 rally, Charlie's rally. Uh, man, uh, the guy is, is turning up the fucking uh, volume knob on the biker scene in, in Oklahoma, Smoke, Oklahoma. Uh, great time. The place is awesome. It's set up, and every year it gets better and better there, man, and more stuff going on. But we played the rally for the first time we played the stage. Uh, I haven't played it in about yeah, six, seven years. And, uh, but the band played the stage. It was their first big stage for everybody in the band. Uh, Tess didn't get to be there, though. Right. I had to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really missed it. But I'm glad you guys did well, from what I hear. And... Yep. We're coming a long ways, man. I mean, things are uh, rolling. You saw that we uh, made uh, the first big money for an original band in Oklahoma to make $400. It's, it's pretty good for an original band. We, I mean, we played two hours straight. And uh, uh, so you got to sell cash it, and what do we do with the money? We put it back into the band. We went and got merchandise. You see, we got new shirts. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fist raise high, man. Uh, yeah. And what does fist raise high mean? It means that when you're standing on top of your mountains in life, man, of your trials and tribulations, when you're standing on top with your rocky fist up, yeah, that means you're living life right then, man. And you can double it if you really feel alive, man. But uh, uh, life is uh, important that we, we make sure that we live uh, monumental moments, man, and, and that we, we capture these moments and we share them with other people. I mean, when you love someone, it's not meant just for me and her to love just each other, but to we have so much love and we can share it with other people and that's what we do is share love uh, and it's not you know how I can control her or how she can control me uh, love controls us and sometimes jealousy tries to get in there but uh, we try to live without jealousy without envy we try to live with uh, realism of looking at the statistics of people that cheat on each other it's uh, well <laughs> cheaters are winning man 
And uh, it sucks because that means the liars are winning too. Uh, we don't lie to each other. We don't have to. There's no need for it. And, uh, but anyways, uh, we love you guys, man. Uh, you saw the new song, Warning Signs. Uh, it's a new song we're going to start working on. <coughs> uh, you saw the smoke sessions with little Chuck. <laughs> he got his first shotgun. He said that uh, kids are needy. <laughs> And then looked at kid. And then looked at kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No pun intended, kid. All right. Anyways, uh, no one's told you today that I love you. Chuck and Tess, we love you. And don't ask why. Because we'll tell you. Because, because we can. Hey. <laughs> we love you, man. It's great time. Would you run out on this possible disaster? the Texas in this beat up Gary Nova You know I'm a city boy Just trying to find my way Into your heart And I know you're a country girl Just trying to get it right From the start Yes, there's times we don't see eye to eye our words even mean